We got Meat King chickens, which are the East Coast of Canada version of a Cornish cross chicken. Back in June, mid June, and they have started laying eggs. They're like big, probably light brown if I washed all the bloom off. They are actually. extra large eggs for the most part, although they've got given me one large egg. The first four eggs that she gave me were double yolks, I'm presuming because she's so full of fat. Would I recommend keeping a broiler meat chicken like a meat king or a Cornish cross to the point of laying? Absolutely not. They're super fat. The only reason I haven't butchered them is because it's really cold and butchering in the really cold sucks just as much as butchering in the heat. We did start with 45 of these bad boys. Not eggs, chickens. We're down to four. We do not still have those 45. We only have four. Just to clear that up. But they did start laying, which is convenient. At least they're kind of earning their keep. Only one of them is laying and we have four. I think one is a rooster at least. She lays three to four eggs a week, so about every other day she lays an egg, and they're always massive. This egg is from Hazel, who is my favorite chicken. She lays a really pretty dark brown egg. She lays one every single day. This one is from a meat king. They only lay one every other day-ish, but they're huge, right? I didn't weigh Hazel's egg, but I'm pretty sure she's a large egg. And this is an extra large egg from the Meat Kings. They're not heavy producers, and in no way would I ever recommend keeping them this long because the last one I butchered was very fat throughout. So I would not recommend keeping them this long, but they do lay eggs if they do get to the point of lay. They will also reproduce. I googled that on the internet machine. They will reproduce and make other chickens. They will just not be the same type of chicken, not unlike a hybrid tomato plant. They are cross-pollinated, so you take one type of tomato and another type of tomato and cross-pollinate them so the seeds that are then created are this new form of tomato. So it's the same with the chicken. You're taking one type of chicken and crossbreeding it with another type of chicken to get a new chicken. If you then take two of those new chickens and crossbreed them, you're gonna get a similar chicken, but it won't technically be that chicken, just like the tomato that you planted from those seeds would not be that tomato. A Cornish cross chicken is a crossbreed between a Cornish and a Plymouth Rock chicken. However, I could not find out what a meat king is made out of which are pretty much the same chicken from my understanding. Yes, they'll lay eggs. No, they're not good producers, but they lay a big egg. And in order to grow them to the point of laying, they're kind of big and uncomfortable and just definitely unhealthy from the amount of fat. And I would not recommend that for the health of the bird. If this answered that question for somebody who was wondering, is this bird gonna lay an egg if I keep it that long? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yes, it will.